Hello everybody, hope you're having a fantastic day today. Thank you so much for checking out the video. Today I'm going to be going over technical data and where to get it and what kind of rewards we'll be getting from it. I collected well over a hundred of it and I'll be showing you what I got from it and where to get it. So yeah, let's get into it. Okay, so the best place that I get technical data from is actually inside of West Tech. So if you're like me and you like to rank up a lot, then you can actually farm technical data while you are leveling up. Now, I do recommend just grabbing it when you go downstairs and you're waiting to respawn the super mutants. You can get it from all these cabinets. And there's actually some other ones upstairs as well. Um, you can see that I found it here. There's actually a room over across the way there. You can get it from as well. And you can get more than one as you're at West Tech. Like, they'll just keep spawning. Um, I've gotten up to three or four from an hour's buffs. Um, another good place to get technical data is Sugar Grove. Um, I also heard that you can get it from the silos, which I'm going to show as well. As you can see here at Sugar Grove, there's tons of cabinets as well to get it. And where was the other place I was thinking of? Oh yeah, you can get it from the military wing in the White Springs bunker I wanted to mention as well. And like I was just saying, all the silo um, locations where you launch a nuke from that I'm showing here. Now I tend to start looking for the technical data as soon as I start the uh, launch progress. Because there's tons of cabinets or whatever you want to call them in here. Um, that usually have lots of technical data. Just in this room alone, I have found up to four technical data. And this is the places you can deliver the technical data. You can deliver at Camp Venture, but if you have a lot of it, I do recommend going to Fort Atlas because there is a stash box close by in there. Now, if you happen to have a lot of technical data on you, make sure when you deliver it, you put it in your stash box first and do it one at a time or when you do deliver it, it will remove it all at once. As you can see here, it removed eight on me rather than eight, you know, finished missions, which would have been a lot nicer. So what you have to do is, is just give her one at a time. And after you give her one, you can come over to the stash box here and grab another one. Again, one at a time. This took me like an hour almost to do, uh, to give her all of these one at a time. But uh, lots of XP from it, actually. I ranked up like two or three times doing this. You can see I got 6,000 XP. This was with all the buffs going in double XP, so just keep that in mind. But there is the aspect that you can get lots of XP from doing this. Now, these are the rare power armor plans that you can get from this. And they are somewhat rare, like it will take you more than a little bit of technical data to get all of these. And as you unlock each rank, you will not be able to get another plan. You can see I got two plans for this one right here. That was because I didn't learn it. If I had learned it, I probably would have got the next rank. And yes, you can drop these and give them to your friends as I am showing here. There seemed to be a little bit of confusion about that. I hope I cleared that up there. You can also get the shield at lining for the Brotherhood of Steel Under Armour, which is, you know, somewhat rare. I'm sure this will sell in a vendor fairly fast. And this is what I got from after I uh, handed in 128 technical data. Um, I got five paints for the T60, um, a lot of outfits that I'm going to be showing, and mostly purified water and stim packs. There wasn't really too much else that I got. So you're really, you know, best going to be doing this for the rare power armor plans, maybe some outfits, and probably some XP is your best motivation to deliver these. Now these are the power armor paints that you can get. Unfortunately, they will only go on the T60, but you can see that as you get a higher rank, they get a little bit, you know, I would say cooler looking. Now these are all the rare ones except the Elder Paint. I couldn't get all of them and that was with 125 technical data. So start saving them up. Now these are the outfits that I got. Now this is probably one of the more rarer ones. This will sell for 500 caps in your stash box or in your vendor I'm sure. Which is the Bomber Jacket. Um, this is the Brotherhood Scribe Outfit. I got about four or five of each of these from all the technical data I delivered. So I wouldn't say too rare engineer's uniform here. 
This is the Science Scribes uniform. To be honest, I don't see people wearing these too often, so would be fun to definitely collect, I think, at least. And here's the Field Scribes uniform, which is, you know, really cool with that backpack, I thought. And that's uh, pretty much it for technical data, everybody. I hope I um, covered everything I need to. If not, I'm sure there'll be some comments that'll, um, you know, bring to light of stuff that I may have missed. So pay attention to those if you can. And again, thank you so much for watching, everybody. Have a great day.